We're going to install a new library into Fritzing. Head over to where you want to install which library, and I'm going to use the Adafruit Fritzing library. I'm going to clone download in the GitHub link and just download the zip file. Make sure you save that to somewhere you can locate later. And while that's downloading, I'm going to extract the files to a location also where I know, and I'm going to put that near the parts library as well. This way I can access them a little bit easier. So make sure you double click and extract using whatever your system's extraction tool is or archiving tool. And I'm going to put mine near the Fritzing library and documents just so I have everything together. Okay. I'm going to check out the parts library, make sure everything is there. Okay, and I'm just going to make sure I know it's the Adafruit library so I don't mix it up with anything else. Okay, now I can access all those parts in Fritzing. So just go File and Open. And literally you can open whatever part of the library you want. Since we're using feather boards, just go down to Adafruit Feather and look at the FZBZ, which is also a type of archive file. Open that up. And that's going to load that to our parts bin on the right side. So you'll see it'll pop that up right away. If you need to access it again, you can scroll up and down. And I'll delete the breadboard and drag in the board just so you can see what's going on. And now you can see I have the fruit, the uh, Adafruit 32U4. And you can keep your imported parts or you don't have to. And this way you'd have to import them every time.